You know what I mean? But it being stacked, our current Olympic champion was in that race. Who, who closed the gate? Olympic, Olympic Elaine, bro. Olympic Elaine. Olympic Elaine. Olympic Elaine. So yes. are you are you concerned that Elaine uh closed the gate, her performance at pre? Definitely. I'm concerned, but not as concerned as everybody around the world is, right? You know what I mean? Um, obviously, a day everybody says, oh, she shouldn't have put herself in that dis- uh, position knowing that she was in a stacked field. Uh, my, only, <laughs> my only conclusion, because, I mean, coaches know what you're going to run when you go out there. You know what I mean? I don't think if a coach knew that that, that what she was going to run, she would put her out there. So this is just my educated guess as to why, why she went out there. And you, you let me know what you think. This was the first year that she went back to pre, not as a Nike athlete. And if you're not a Nike, Nike athlete, it means that you can get an appearance fee. You can get an appearance fee. In my head, not that she needs it, but what I'm saying is why give that up? You know, you, you can get formidable competition. You can get, she didn't run anywhere else this year. You know what I mean? Um, she picked up a new sponsor in, in Christian Dior, so she don't need money. She don't need money. <laughs> but, I mean, in her head, all the years she's ran for Nike, you know, she went out there for the free ski. hundred <laughs> percent. Against her toughest you, competition. You know, you know all about I it, I know though. all about it, bro. When, when I went from <laughs> Nike to XTEP, it was my first year running as a non-Nike athlete at Pre. And I was able to negotiate an appearance fee. For the first time at pre. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> you was getting paid. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got paid. I loved it. I got paid. Because it, it was one of the biggest meets of the year. So that you know they had a bank. You know they have money connected to it. It's, it's backed by Nike. So you know they got money connected to it. And they want the best athletes to be able to run at, at that meet. Now, what happens is most of those athletes lined up are Nike athletes. So none of them are getting paid appearance fee. So they got money still to be able to pay big dogs. So back to Elaine, she's a Puma athlete. She is reigning Olympic champion. She has a lot of things connected to her name and her resume to say, hey, go and give me that money. And that's what happened. That's what she did. I feel like she came. She knows she wasn't 100% prepared, probably not even 50% prepared. But she had to make sure she had to see exactly where she was and test herself. And she came away with a little money in her pocket. Now she can get ready, rebase, retrain, get, get out there. And a lot of people that's probably going to write her off now, they're going to be blindsided by the time she probably makes it to the Jamaican trials or even after that. What, what if she, um, <laughs> and this is another conclusion, what if she is playing possum? She gave, and which wouldn't make sense because she would have to make it out of Jamaica. This would, this would have made sense if Jamaica trials would have happened and then she ran like this. But what is she playing possum for her competitors, you know, and or going back home to Jamaica, you know, to make her Jamaican... Counterparts. Uh, yeah, counterparts feel like she's not ready and then she drop a dime on them. Well, I mean, it ain't, it ain't that much she can hide, bro. I mean... Her and Shelly she her and Shelly Ann have the same coach. It just so happened that they don't train together. So it isn't like the coach does not know that she's not ready. And he's gonna be like, oh Shelly Ann, I ain't gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I think at the end of the day, you have to. It's so hard to just sit there and say, all right, you playing possum, but are you playing? Boy, that's big possum, boy. That is a big possum, bro. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> to go, she, to go she out got... there and close the gate and to run 11.30, that is a big possum. What if a coach say, okay, go out there, and work on your start, and just form it up after that? Because she, she was with the field for like 20, 25. And then it looked like she, she ran basically a tech 100 after that. Yeah. Technique for her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because her caliber, her ceiling is so high. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... That's what it looked like. You'd be like, hey, man, just see how if you can stick with them for like 25, 30, and then after that, just warm it up. Then we come back home, work on some things, and we get ready for Jamaican track. I tell you what, that takes a lot of balls right there, boy. You know what I'm saying? To, to really... Um, what do you lose? You don't lose anything. You gain the money. You got your exposure. You know what I mean? You don't lose anything. The only thing you lose is the Jamaican people and people around the world talking about you crazy. 
about to write you off. And funny thing is, the same people, if she go home and drop 10-7 at Jamaican nat- trials, it's going to be the same people that's going to put her back on the, on the pedestal and be like, Jamaican hey, hey, I'm Jamaican drinking life. rum and red food. <laughs> they going to be out there partying. <laughs> she fat, y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? So who knows? Oh, oh, but those are just, those are just our takes on, on Elaine. Hopefully she, she isn't going through any issues and she can defend the crown because everybody definitely would, would love to see the matchup. Everybody wants to win when their competitors are at their best. Nobody wants to win and beat their competitor when a competitor is like, oh, I have this, I have that. You know what I mean? So hopefully she's, she's if she is playing possum, this is like the greatest game plan ever. Because if she do at Jamaica Tries on 10 7, what would you say? That was a big ass possum, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big possum, dog. <laughs> I, I mean, I, what can I really say, though, bro? It's, it's, I could, all I can say is the fact of like, she really was in tune on the fact of working on certain aspects of a race and she's willing to um, sacrifice. Um, her prestige in in a race and be questioned because she was only working on something and then she come back now and now she's ready to go. That means that as an athlete like her, which I'm not doubting because she's what? Three-time Olympic champion? Or is it two? Mm-hmm. Two-time. Yeah. I think it's two-time. Two-time Olympic champion, right? So she understands what it is to seize the moments. She, you know what I mean? She understands what it is to be able to build her legacy and know which race really counts. So by the time we get to Olympic trials, Jamaica, USA, whatever, when that dust settles, ain't nobody thinking about pre. You know, pre is going to be a cliff note. You know what I mean? You're going to be like, oh yeah, she did good at pre, but here we are now. You know, she did bad at pre, but here we are now. So you still, she still got to go through those three rounds. She still got to get ready for that. And it might be the same thing with Sharika's going through. Not saying Sharika ran it bad, but I'm saying like on the fact of like when their body is loaded from weights and real heavy, heavier conditioning. And then when they be able to like lift themselves off that weights and be able to speed their body back up to where it needs to be, you know, then she's going to go out there and run fast, you know? So. Uh, shoot. Listening to uh, Elaine uh, interview, she don't care what people think no way, bro. So that's why I think she has nothing to lose. She'll go out there and be like, shoot, it don't matter to me, man. Shoot, I got my paper. Uh, me and my husband, we good. I don't care about nobody to say, I'm going to make this team. She said, journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, man. She, she did not care. You know what I mean? There it is. Does, 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 does not. And that, and that is the confidence know? of a true champion right there. When you know, it's just, you don't care about what everybody going to say, you handle and you know your journey, you know your process. 